So where is your brother, the Prime Minister, on this? Because he said in the past, you know, I think yeah. marriage is between a man and a woman. He's still there. That's where he is. That's his position. Um, you would have been getting in his ear. Well, he, he knows my position. <laughs> he knows that I disagree with him. But, uh, of course, you know, I get in his ear to the extent that he knows that I'm out and about talking about this issue and when I see him, sometimes it gets raised, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, his position is that it is between a man and a woman and I respect his view on that. Uh, there are always going to be people in Australia that will believe that, that marriage is and, you know, as it's defined and solemnised by, by governments is man and a woman. But, you know, that the, the world's actually moved on from there now. That is increasingly a minority view. He's actually in a more conflicted position than you are on this because you, you want to get married. This is something you feel with all your heart. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, he doesn't agree, but he loves you and he wants you to be happy. Well, he does. I'm his sister and, and you know, we're family and we love each other uh, and uh, I know that he only wants a good outcome for, for me and for my life to be happy and fulfilled. Yes, I guess he might be conflicted, but um, his view will not change. You know, he, he has, like all other politicians, all other people, have, has seen the result in Ireland, the referendum in Ireland. You know, traditionally a very conservative, very religious country, really voting overwhelmingly and resoundingly uh, in favour of marriage equality. It sends a pretty strong signal that you can't turn the tide back. <laughs> <laughs> 